Thanks, Alan. Our top story tonight, families in Pueblo gathered today to remember the life of a young woman killed in a horrific act of domestic violence. News 5 reporter Ryan Martin tells us more about the vigil and how loved ones are coping. The family of Renee Dominguez want her name to be remembered in a positive light. They also want people to remember her legacy in hopes of ending domestic violence. She was being terrorized by this monster. Friends and loved ones gathered together early Sunday morning to show their love for Renee. She loved everything. She loved everybody. She loved being here. She helped so many people. While honoring her life, they also want to see justice served. They believe the system failed Dominguez. They kept giving him breaks after break after break. And I think the judge needs to be held accountable because he kept, he just let him go. They say at the couple's last court appearance, no remorse was shown. She yeah. asked and the judge what happens said, now and the judge whatever, says whatever, whatever happens, happens, happens. They also want to make sure people aren't afraid to stand up for themselves and people become more aware of how to get out of relationships involving domestic violence in the future. To make people aware of what's going on behind closed doors. If you're going through domestic violence, say something. We're, we're just at a loss right now. We're, we're so, this domestic violence needs to stop. Domestic violence needs to stop. Ryan Martin, News 5. Renee Dominguez is survived by her son. Police officers say that her attacker took his own life.